Hey guys, it's Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Planting with Julian episode. So side note, I haven't been feeling well for the last three days. Actually, the last two days, I woke up with a really sore throat. And then I just woke up from like a three hour nap after taking some medicine. But I wanted to go ahead and get this done today because I'm not going to be able to film. Today is Thursday. I'm not going to be able to film for another six days because I'm going to be in Las Vegas. So this video had to get up today. So here I am. I have my ponytail. I have my apron. I just got back from Orchard. So if you want to see my come with me uh, plant shopping, well, I didn't do plant shopping, but planting related, come with me um, to my local orchards and go ahead and check out the upload prior to this one. So this is going to be a little haul with a planting with Julian episode combined together. I want to go ahead and talk about the things that I got at Orchards because I really needed these things for today's Planting with Julian episode. So I went by there to get some terracottas and I love getting terracottas from there because it's the closest place to me where I can get terracottas. They're fairly inexpensive and it's just a mile away from me. So these are the ones that I got here. I ended up getting a bunch here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. And I think they're absolutely adorable. So I have a lot of terracottas, but I don't have the short ones like this. And I am absolutely in love with this four inch. So it is on the short side. So let me see what I have here that I can compare it with. So this is my Pink Princess Philodendron. So can you see the difference in the planter? I just love the short, um, the shortness of this. And actually my Marble Queen Pothos is in a short, terracotta like this and I just love the aesthetic of it so I got eight of these and they're gonna be probably I think used up in today's video with the new babies I got over the weekend and I got two of these and this is the same style of terracotta um, in six inch here so these are perfect for our house plants succulents cactuses I'll probably take the stickers off after I'm done planting because I am pressed for time and stickers can be a little pain in the butt and also too another thing that I got at orchards was cactus mix now it's been a while since I got cactus mix and I finally used it all up and because majority I think of the plants that I'm planting up today is cactus and succulents I needed to get more so this is the one that I end up getting let me see if I can pick this up here so this is the bag that I got here and this is by EB stone it's organic cactus succulent mix here and this is what I'm going to be using up today um, for all of the plant babies so Let's go ahead and plant them up because I have so much. There is a few things that I do want to go ahead and switch out before um, planting up the new baby. So I want to go ahead and do that. Also too, um, another thing that I did get yesterday, um, I went to Daiso Japan. I know I've done a, um, a plant haul video there from the things that I got in Daiso, I think last spring. But anyway, I went back last night because I had dinner with Jenny across the street on Sawtell and they do have the white planters back in stock again as well as like my bear planters but these have holes in it so I could have gotten all four styles like designs but I ended up just getting these two I may go back for more depending on what I end up with um, as far as for like leftover babies that have not been potted up but I did get two of these so I'm gonna do just a quick switch here first thing I want to do is shift my variegated peperomia into one of them here because I want to use this particular terracotta for one of my big pieces that I'm going to be planting up today so I think I'm going to use this guy here yep so I'm just going to transfer the dirt here so just a quick switch aesthetic wise I want my cactus and uh, succulents mostly to be in terracottas and I think um I think the peperomia is gonna look really adorable in a white planter. So just a quick switch. Let's go ahead and break it up. I can't believe I've been feeling so sick the last three days. Like I didn't think I was gonna film today, but I needed to get this done before I leave them for a good minute. I'm so sad, but it'll be so exciting to see the Las Vegas plants and see how they're doing. I'm kind of interested to see um, how the rubber plant is doing in our kitchen. It's been a while. I haven't been in Las Vegas for I think I think 12 days or so. It's been a minute. So here's the new look and actually guys I think this is so adorable. So I'm glad that worked out 
and I'll be watering all of my plant babies at the end. So I'm just gonna leave it right behind me here on my chair, which is where my grandma normally sits. And she'll be here in September when we move her up here. So I can't wait to have her back on my channel. I will be doing a plant update on my grandma's plants when I go back home to Hawaii. And I'm kind of interested. She did discuss with me who she's going to be giving her plants to when she moves away. Um, so I'm kind of sad about that, that she's giving away the plants, but it is what it is and she's moving up here. So now I want to make another shift. So the Pink Princess Philodendron has been in this breathable planter for a while, but I want to go ahead and put it in this white planter and I'm going to be using this terracotta for another baby here. So let me just shift the dirt here. And I'm still nervous about my Pink Princess Philodendron just because it's pretty much one of my most expensive babies in my collection and I don't want to kill it but I'm kind of interested to see how cute it's gonna look in a white planter it'll stay in here for now until I get a bigger planter um, that is gonna match the aesthetic of the plant when it gets bigger so I want to say it's going to stay in this planter for the rest of the year for sure I think that looks so cute. There is a chopstick here. I'm going to leave it for now. Let me just do one more of soil here. And that's going to be the new home for now. What do you guys think? Let me see if I pull this out. How would it look? It's been living with this chopstick ever since I've gotten it. I think it's time to let go and then the Velcro can come off. You're a big girl now. You're on your own. No chopstick holding you up. So I just need to make sure that that is nice and secure here. If I need to put the chopstick back on, I will. I'll just make sure that it's nice and grounded here with soil surrounding it. And I think it'll be good. So here is the new look of my Pink Princess Philodendron. I think it's absolutely adorable in its new home. So now that the two ter terracottas are freed up, I can go ahead and put new babies in them. I want to do, let's see here, a few things here. So I have this bear paw, it's a green bear paw. And I got this from Pasadena Rose Bowl. Now I'm going to have to make some switches here. So I'm going to open up the soil. Okay. So these are little um, cups that I got from, I think, the thrift shop in Vegas. And it's just been sitting. It's in my aesthetic that I really, really love. I think it's going to look so cute to have the bear paw in here. So let's see if I can get it right in the center here. And when it gets bigger. Oh no, so it's so fragile. It just fell. I'm just going to leave it like that very dainty plant here this is the new home for now this little loose guy can just go right in here and grow roots but for now this is what it looks like it'll live on my shelf a bunch of these teacups that I haven't used yet so I have that another one I have here's another teacup and I got this cute little succulent from Pasadena thank you cat for these cute little guys. She treated me to some plants. Now let's go ahead and put a little soil in here. I can't believe I've been feeling so crappy the last couple of days. I can't afford that. I work every day and I'm dancing this weekend in Vegas. So let's fill in the gaps here. We'll see how big this gets in time and then I'll go ahead and make the switch so I am going home to Hawaii in I want to say 10 days guys so I'm kind of nervous about that for my plants because this is going to be the longest I'm going to be away from them because I will be in Las Vegas prior to me going to Hawaii 
So I think I'm going to be away from my plants for 12 or 11 days. So I'm going to be doing kind of a heavy watering before I go for the house plants. So this is what it looks like in here. I think that is so cute. What do you guys think? Just press this in without doing any damage to them because they're so dainty and small. There it is. So cute. Okay. I think it's absolutely adorable. Oh my goodness, I can't. Okay. Here's another one I want to do before I get to the new baby. So this is a cutting of my Hartley philodendron. And it was just like a baby that fell off of the mother plant. There is a little bit of small roots here. So I do want to go ahead and plant it up. Let's just stick this deep in. And I have given Kavika uh, my biggest cutting from my Hartley philodendron for his San Diego collection. I can say that now because he does have a collection. And then I gave, who else? I think, oh, I gave Jenny to also a cutting from my Hartley philodendron. So I don't have any new cuttings. This is, the, this is it right here. So I'm gonna keep this somewhere. I don't know where. And then let me run to my bathroom real quick because I do have I think two more or one more cuttings that don't really look like this that are rooted up that I want to go ahead and put into dirt. So I am back and I have bigger cuttings from the same plant, my heart leaf philodendron. What do I have? This has been living in my bathroom for a minute, but as you can see, there's lots of roots. This guy, I don't know, I could probably dump him, but you never know, he might give me roots. I'll stick him back into there, but these have some pretty good roots. I could leave them in more, but I'm going to go ahead and plant them up just in a nursery planter. And then when it gets a little bit more full, um, when it gives me more leaves, I'll put it into another planter. Or I could easily just put it back into its original planter with the rest of the mother plant. Because this fell off when my gardeners came by and then they knocked my planter over and they didn't tell me and they just got a planter from my potting bench and replaced it and there was a bunch of them that um, ended up falling off and so this was some of it but you don't have to throw it away you can just go ahead and propagate it and actually that's what happened when it was living in my bathroom and then now that cutting is living in San Diego so no problem it will just be in temporary housing on my back shelf next to my potting bench with the rescues until it gives me more leaves I mean I see some growth down here so I'm not worried but I definitely thought it was time to put it into dirt so for now it'll be here in the rescue section until further notice so that could probably be for cuttings for more plant friends or trades so I got these empty ones I'll leave them on the side here so I have um, two cuttings here also that's been in my bathroom propagating I have my last spider plant cutting here look at how healthy this is and i'm gonna just put it i think in this guy right here so this will probably be for another trade or plant friend gift here um i know i have another spider plant cutting on my wicker coffee table but this one looks a lot more healthier than that one so it'll just live in here definitely time to go ahead and plant up but these are so good to trade with plant friends so or give them as gifts so that is so adorable especially since I gave my friend Kavika um, my biggest cutting so I have to redeem myself so here it is this is the biggest baby that I currently have right now okay so now that I got the cuttings out of the way I have one more here here's another beautiful cutting I believe this is from Tanya and I want to go ahead and put it in to one of the white planters I'm thinking I'm not sure or actually can I just stick it back into this guy here maybe no I'm gonna get an ice cream planter I got a planter I do still have a bunch more do you believe that 
So I'm gonna fill it up with the cactus succulent soil mix and then find placement here without breaking anybody. Let's see here, I think I want it like this. Don't break on me. Need to get a little bit more soil on the top of it. We'll be good to go after that. Okay. I really don't want it trailing like this, but it is what it is. And this is kind of what it looks like. What do you guys think? I can let it hang off like that for a little style gives it some characteristic this is a trailing succulent so I don't know we'll see I could easily just cut it right here propagate it again and have it stand up but for now it'll just live like this okay so I think that's the last of the cuttings that I do want to plant up in today's video so that was one two three cuttings yep three cuttings planted up today that is really good so moving along to the new babies I know there's one guy here in Echeveria that was missing a home because I had given Kavika one of my, I gave him three more plants for his collection and I gave him some of my terracottas which was belonging to this guy so I'm going to see if you look, yeah you definitely look cuter in that one so let's go ahead and put some soil on the bottom sorry i had to steal your original home it went to san diego but we were pressed on time and couldn't go get we couldn't get planters before he left so i ended up taking some of my babies out from my terracottas to give him some cuttings gave him i think two cactus and succulent the aeonium cuttings so he has like 11 plants now on his shelf all right, I'm gonna just break up the roots here. I'll take the stickers off of the planters after the video. Break the roots up here and then plant it in. Oh my God, it looks so cute in this short terracotta. So perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit. Here is the new home for my Echeveria because it got stolen and went to San Diego. So I think it looks really better in a short planter compared to like an original one that it was in like this. So I'm glad I got a bunch. I may have to go back to orchards and get more of these just to have them on hand. So that is finally in a new home. Okay, moving along to my favorite. So this is my beautiful Cressula ovata variegata or tricolor. There's some blush pink pulling through. Also, there is some babies of some random succulents down here. I'm gonna slowly pull this guy out and see if I can save these random succulents here growing. So that's one. Got some hitchhikers. There's the rest of them. I'll just stick it there. All right, so I think it's going to look really good in a short planter like that. So cute. Okay, so what I want to do is break this up. So there is a nice root system. I am in love with this Cressula ovata. So, so gorgeous. Um, get a big scoop. Of cactus succulent mix okay and then I'm going to go ahead and cover it up I'm making a mess all right almost done with this guy it is so adorable let me know down in the comments below if you have a variegated G tricolor they're not as common. This is the first time I've ever seen such a big one. 
I know I did mention when I did my haul that I did see like smaller ones like this at the Rose Bowl, but not a big one like this. And I can't believe I scored this for $8. So I will definitely be propagating it soon in the near future. But for now, what do you guys think? I think it's absolutely adorable in this planter. So cute at this guy here. Scored him for $10 from the plant festival, by the way. I think what I'm gonna do is with these guys here I'm going to put it in their nursery planter and just keep an eye out on them because they're fairly big like take a look at this look at all this root system here I don't know what kind of succulent this is let me know if you know what they are they're very dainty and I don't want to break them but there's three little pups here and they just were hitchhiking in that little planter of the Cresilla Ovada. That. So I'll be monitoring them and then when they get bigger, it's like a bonus plant. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever had that happen to you where you bought a plant and there was a hitchhiker in the planter that wasn't the same plant that you bought so I don't know I have it right here you guys can see that mystery plant and um, keep you guys posted I'm trying to not break it but also like be sure that it can grow in here okay enough with that so ah, here we are I have my tools here Thank you, Grandma. And I am going to see. Ah, as you can see, there is not much roots here. Do you see that? And that's one thing about getting plants from like other plant people is that you never know what the condition of the plant is. So I am going to put my cactus succulent mix in. I don't know about this. I don't trust that. I'm gonna use mine because I know it's good and I know that it's um, coming from the nursery. Just better to know without getting poked with these small little roots. It's not that rooted, so it must be a very new cutting. Let's stick it into the dirt. So you never know how rooted it is when you go to flea markets and festivals. Um, and then I'll just use the mixture it came with to top it off. So I'm just reusing the planter that I had in my collection for this guy. And that is the new home for this one. I have to be very careful because there isn't long roots. Um, I won't be watering this for a while, but I'm glad I was able to get it in a new home. Here's my newest cactus baby, and I think I'm going to put it in this one. I think it looks better in a taller planter. So let's see how you do here. Lots of roots here. And let me go ahead and scoop some soil in I just can't wait to see them all potted up because they've just been hanging out since Saturday Sunday and today's Thursday so for a couple days it's been on my Tiffany blue table waiting for their new so without getting poked here press it in and then I'm going to soil around it. I think I really love placement here. It's so cute. Okay, I'm loving placement here. So now I just need to fill up the edges. So cute. That looks so good. Making a mess. Okay, good enough. All right, 
So here is the new home for this cutie. I think this one was priced for I think six or eight dollars. Look how cute is that? Probably one of my favorite prickly babies. This random guy here. Don't know a uh, monadinium going the Terry. You guys read that? Interesting species here. I'm gonna try to see if I can plant it up in today's video. I gotta see what the root system looks like. Let's see here. Stop damaging him. What kind of roots do you have here, little guy? Okay, so it is rooted, thank goodness. Look at all these roots. Now, do you look cute in this? Hmm, questionable because you're so leggy. I don't know. I do have this empty planter that my maiden hair was in and it died, so I pulled it out. Are you gonna look cute in here? I think for now, I'm gonna leave this guy in here. And unfortunately, my maiden hair died. Do you believe that? Second one, second season. I'm not getting any more maiden hairs. It doesn't do good with me for some reason. I don't know if it has to do with my schedule or what. And it was doing fairly fine in the beginning. And then it just, like, died on me. I'm going to cut it back and see what happens. But I think for now, you're just going to stay in here. Okay. Let's see, I'm interested to see when you will bloom and where will you go from here because you're really, really interesting here. And I'm not gonna do the chopstick thing because I wanna see where you go from here. So, random species here, very interesting guy. I didn't think I was gonna put him in that planter, but why not? Because he's very tall. So, I have this guy here, another Echeveria, super cool, right? Now I know it's gonna look adorable in this short terracotta planter. Let's see here. Good, one sticker off. Let's go ahead and loosen up the root system. So, so cute, can't wait to propagate this. in this planter. I think it looks adorable. I'm so glad I went to orchards today to get me new planters because I ran out of terracottas. There's no way I could plant these up. So I think I need to take some of the dirt out. Definitely gonna have some soup tonight for dinner. Hopefully I feel better for Vegas tomorrow because I dance like 20 shows when I'm there. Okay, almost there. I think that looks about right. All right. So adorable, oh my goodness. Probably one of my favorite Echeverias now in my collection. Do you guys have this version? I don't know, I, the vendor had told me the name and I totally spaced out, but it has some variegation in it and I absolutely love succulent blooms. So that is the new home for this baby. Okay guys, we're getting there gonna do the donkey's tail next so I do have a little cutting but I ended up getting this guy and it's fine cat had treated me to this baby so thank you cat 
a very sweet review. Let's see here. Gotta cradle this guy because it's so fragile. Put a little bit of soil on the bottom there. And then break this up a little bit without damaging it. I love the trailing effect of Donkey's Tail. It is so gorgeous. Cool, that looks so darn cute. It's adorable. Can't wait to see it trail on me. All right, it's nice and grounded in here. There it is. Look at how cute this is. So, so, so cute. Take a look at this stunning thing. I got this for $8. And I think that was a fantastic deal. I've never seen an area like this. So this is what it looks like here. And I don't know if I'm going to put you in here. Or in here. Let's see here. So stunning. So I'm going to clean off the bottom here. Take off the dead parts here. Okay, I got all of the dead guys off. Nice healthy root system here. And then let's see what it looks like in the short planter. I think it looks so stunning. I think I'm gonna keep it in like this. I'm definitely gonna take a nice hot shower and have some soup for dinner and I'll take all of my plant babies out in the house so that they can get sun while I'm away. Las Vegas. And, um, I think this looks so cute. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. I'm in love. I'm going to have to do like top 10 succulents. I think I'm going to be doing that on my channel because this has really switched up the game. Look at how gorgeous this is. So stunning. And the aesthetic of the planter is perfect. So, what do I have left, guys? I got two more babies. All right, there's another one here. Let me know if you guys know what this is. It's kind of beat up as you can see here, but it's all good. Got this from the last plant vendor I went to at Pasadena Rose Bowl. Love that place so, so much. I will always go when I'm here on a second Sunday just because I'm never here on a second Sunday. This guy needs some water. It is so dry. Let's see here. All right. Let's do that. My tree is just shedding on me per usual. Okay, I think it looks adorable. So this aesthetic short type planter works so well with everything that I have here. That's so great. I'm going to have to get more. Here's my last guy. If you guys know what this is, let me know down in the comments below. It's like a succulent cactus. It's definitely a succulent because it looks like a succulent. I could be wrong. Let me know if you guys know because I don't know who he is. <laughs> But I know where he came from. He came from the Rose Bowl, from the same vendor. And he is so rooty. Take a look at that. So now I have two terracottas left and one big guy. I'm going to look at my collection really quickly before I end this video. If anybody else needs to be planted up. Because I won't be able to plant up for another six days. I don't want to leave anybody behind. Whoa, this is so rooty. Right, I'm loving it. Then I have to send Kat a picture of all the new babies planted up.
All right. I think that looks really good. And again, I'll take the stickers off after I'm done filming. Sun is going down soon. So here is the final look. I think it's cute. And I actually could pull this apart and make more babies. But for now, it'll live together. I'm going to look around my collection one more time if anybody else needs to be planted up. And then I'll wrap up this video. Okay, so as I'm looking through my plant collection before I wrap up the video, there's two plants that I did buy when I went to Carlsbad with my girlfriend Evelyn the other week. And I stopped by this nursery. I did a come with me. I didn't do a haul, I believe, for the plants that I got. I got two plants. So I got this fern here and i think this is like a sword fern this is what grows wild in hawaii and i wanted to get it because it reminded me of hawaii as my grandma would say this is a rubbish plant and it's true because it does grow wild in hawaii and i will plant it up sometime soon i don't know when i do have a planter for it but maybe in the next video but same nursery i got this here so this is a portulaca molokinesis i think i'm saying that correct it's indigenous to one of the islands in Hawaii, but now you see it everywhere. Um, wherever I've been, I've seen this plant, and I picked it up from that particular plant nursery in Carlsbad. So, good thing I went to go and check my plant collection to see if anybody else needed to be planted up, because this one for sure needed to be planted up. I feel so bad that I forgot about it. It was living on my potting bench for several weeks, and I'm so glad that I have some terracottas left for this guy here so there is blooms and actually my girlfriend Evelyn bought one just like this and she doesn't have plants so now she has one plant and uh, the cool thing is she has it outdoors in front of her doorstep and she said it actually gave her like yellow blooms so I think that's pretty cool so let's see here I'm gonna get rid of some of this and then I'm going to put my potting mix in. And also, side note guys, I decided randomly, one of my subscribers had reached out to me about if I was willing to sell one of my Pelia babies to her. And I just decided randomly, yes. I never thought I would sell any of my babies because I want to keep them all. I worked so hard over a year ago trying to get them in my collection when it wasn't readily available in the u.s and now that like it's a common plant now here sort of in certain places um they're um slightly cheaper but share it on my channel because i'm gonna give this baby to the new plant mom in las vegas tomorrow and i'll share it with you um before i wrap up this video my little baby um, and also, side note, my mother plant is giving me two more new babies. So I was like, okay, I think I can let go one of my babies and be okay. All right. So here is the new home. I think that worked out great. And I'm so sorry. I forgot about you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean everything up, wrap up my video, and then I'll show you the pilia cutting that I sold. Here is a quick little overview of all of the babies I planted up today. And randomly... I didn't think I had anything to plant up and look at all these. So I think it was a very successful planting with Julian. Let me know down in the comments below. I didn't think I had this much to plant up today. So I'm very surprised to see how big today's plant gang looks right, guys, like. So I have all of the plant babies set up here and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys two more things that I wanted to uh, share with in this video. So, you know, this is what happens when you shop so much and you have so much plants and so much plant related things. In yesterday's Daiso Japan visit, I did get the two white planters, which is planted up in today's video with my old babies in it, my Peperomia and my Pink Princess Philodendron. And then I also got two spray bottles and I think these are so gorgeous. And I've been using my big white one that I got from the 99 cent store for over a year now. And now I have these guys here. It came in other colors. I got one for Kavika because he doesn't have any. And I'm worried that the plants are not getting misted. So I'm going to gift this to him for his plants. And then I have mines here. I think it's so, so adorable. And then if you look back here, I'm going to take the plants off here. I also got a little cute plant stand. It's like a little table. Take a look at this. How cute is that? So I am probably going to maybe put it somewhere here um, to help bring up my plants to kind of do a level change on my Tiffany Blue table. Otherwise, I'm going to just take this to Las Vegas uh, for my plants on my nightstand in my bedroom. 
And then side note, one last thing I was wanting to share before I wrap up this video is my beautiful baby Pelia that I sold to one of my subbies and I'm gonna be giving it to her in person in Las Vegas tomorrow so I can't believe I'm parting with it um, but I am and um, it's kind of a big deal for me because I'm so attached to them but I do have new two babies shooting up from the mother plant so I feel okay to let go of this one but all I said was if you can go ahead and send me pictures of it potted up and then as it grows if I, I can get more pictures of it to share with everybody on my channel so regardless if you want a plant from my giveaway or bought cuttings off of me I love getting update pictures so please send them um, so I can share with everybody on my channel so I'm gonna give everybody a quick little misting okay let's see here a little misting here So this one doesn't really give off a spray here. It's interesting. It's like a little... Okay, I may have to go back to my original mister because there's like a mist. This is just like a little stream of water coming through here. But it's all good. It was just a $1.50. Good enough. All right, so that's that. Never know until you bring it home. Um, I'm gonna wrap up the video here, guys. The sun is going down. My patio is nice and shaded now. I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange all these babies into my plant collection, bring out all of my plants from my home because I'm leaving tomorrow morning for a handful of days for Las Vegas. And that's about it, if you guys wanna see more, definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. And I love reading all of your comments. So please let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite plant in today's video. Also, if you know any of the names. Because um, if I don't, I know you guys do. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated. And I'll, I guess I have to do updated tours because I seem to get new plant babies in my collection every week. Um, and that's pretty cool, right? Um, but that's about it, guys. I can't wait to put this amongst the rest of my plant collection. You can find more on my blog at iojulian.blogspot.com. And I, maybe I'll be filming in Las Vegas over the weekend. I'll see you guys later. Aloha.